Greater Richmond ARC offers programs to help people of all ages who have developmental disabilities. Their programs are paid for in part by a big fundraiser that's coming up next weekend. Greater Richmond ARC volunteer Valerie Pace is here with details on this year's Ladybug Wine Tasting and Silent Auction. Good morning. Good morning, Cheryl. Where does the theme Ladybug come from? Well, that started back 17 years ago now um, by Tom Horsey, who co-founded the Ladybug Fund event for his daughter. And ever since, it's just taken off, and it's a wonderful event, raising funds for the children of ARC. Well, we'll talk about the event in just a minute, but let's talk about the mission of ARC. You're a volunteer, yes. and as we know, volunteers are the backbone of all the organizations. You guys work hard. What is ARC all about? Well, ARC services children through adult years, including families, with lots of programs and services. And the funding from Ladybug and other funding events that happen throughout the year provide those services and programs to the children, adults, and families. Can you talk a little bit specifically about what kinds of programs we're talking about? Sure. Uh, they could be therapy, scholarships. They could be anything such as wheelchairs, um, provided to the children or adults, uh, working services. Uh, we also have uh, speech therapy for, to talk about one of the therapy services that are, that's available. Uh, we also have iPads for the children that are uh, performing or in the programs mm -hmm. for ARC. We talk about uh, serving people of all ages. You mentioned yes. children, but this services goes on throughout their lives. Exactly. In fact, even work programs for adults. That's wonderful. Well, let's talk about the fundraising because that's the fun part of this. You get to put together an event and the community gets to come out and enjoy. Yes. So obviously we've got cupcakes. So what's that all about? Oh, definitely. <laughs> so Frosting's Bake Shop out of Short Pump, they decorated these cupcakes for us this year and we'll have hundreds of these on hand for everyone to enjoy at the event at the Torque Club. Mm -hmm on March 25th. That's a wonderful space out yes. at the Richmond International Raceway. Exactly. For people who haven't attended a party there, that, that's an amazing space to be it's in. It's beautiful, yes. Mm -hmm. And the wine tasting part of that, how does that fit into the evening? So, uh, Tom Horsey, who is a veteran in the wine industry, he provides uh, most of the wine for that night for the tasting. Uh, mainly West Coast wines, and you see we've got a couple of examples here, uh, red wine and then uh, Blanc. Mm -hmm. uh, so during the wine tastings, we also have the restaurant row. So you have food tastings from local restaurants and then as well as the wine, and we have a craft brewery there this year. Oh, so a little bit of everything for everybody. Yes. Um, talk about the food, because Richmond, of course, is a great foodie town, and you've got a lot of the top restaurants participating with you this year. Yes, and we do have uh, Positive Vibe Cafe. They're coming back this year, mm -hmm. and I'll have to uh, check my notes, because I want to make sure I include everybody. Mm -hmm. The Liberty Public House out of Church Hill. Oh, Mama Jay's is coming back this year, so that's another good one. And then we also have Good Rich Catering. Mm -hmm. and, and it's all about the theme. I just noticed you're wearing Ladybug yes, earrings. Yes, <laughs> yes, I found these this morning to wear. <laughs> They're adorable. And, and is that encouraged that people come in theme? Uh, no, but we do uh, promote, if anyone wants to, festive uh, casual wear oh. to the event. Oh, yes. That sounds like a yes. great idea. So we kind of touched on some of the things that are going on. Did we miss anything? What else uh, is going to be happening? At well, this event? besides the uh, wine tasting, the food tastings, the wonderful cupcakes, we have the silent auction mm -hmm. and we have some items here. In fact, one ring that I'm uh, wearing and there's another ring I believe on display here on the table mm -hmm. from SJ Jewelers. We also have jewelry from uh, formerly Stevens Jewelers. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have this uh, bag for uh, Virginia uh, that has other items from Virginia included in the silent auction, but there are items for the entire family in the silent auction. Oh, that's wonderful. So it really is a, a full evening of all kinds of events, and again, it's all there to um, continue the mission of Greater Richmond Arc. Exactly, and we've raised over a million and a half in the 17 years. 
for this program. Well, hopefully you can top the million and a half and go to two million this year. That would be wonderful. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention, we will have a jazz trio, the mm -hmm. John Connolly trio, playing for us during the night. Oh, so you've got it all, food, beverages, and music. Yes. And an auction. Yes. <laughs> well, Valerie, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. The Greater Richmond Arc's annual Ladybug Wine Tasting and Silent Auction is coming up on Saturday, March 25th. That's at the Torque Club at the Richmond Raceway Complex. We'll put a link to full information on our website. Just go to WTVR.com slash VTM by early this afternoon. Sounds like it's going to be a fabulous event.